We've been extremely busy here at MAF over the last few months. We actually have parts for EM1 on the floor, but we also have all of our well-confident articles have been welded and are sitting out on the floor. And we also have our qualification articles sitting out on the floor also. We have a dome, an aft dome, and a forward dome. All of the rings that are needed for EM1 are produced and sitting on the floor waiting to be machined. Factory readiness here at the Michoud Assembly Facility has been progressing, in fact even accelerating, since the initial completion of the Vertical Assembly Center. At this point, we have our weld areas up and going. We have tank processing areas to the point where the control systems and tooling is being in place. One aspect of the tank processing areas is all new control rooms. They're gonna be managing electrical requirements, interlocks, feeds and propellants and primers and TPS sprays. Adjacent to these assembly and integration areas is the engine shop. The engines will come over from Stennis Space Center, they'll be checked out carefully, and we'll actually install them here at Michoud. As we walk through the factory today, we have world-class robots doing all types of manufacturing and assembly operations. One of the aspects of tank processing is a proof testing for both the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen tanks. Those areas are all but complete, the tooling is on its way in, control systems are being checked out, Another really important aspect is we're bringing a lot more skilled technicians on this coming year. Already in place are the welders and the weld engineers. Joining them will be planners and folks working all the tank processing areas, and then of course the assembly and integration techs and engineers. We're gonna be a busy place here very soon.